Boujou, Kinemagi and NA Ireland edition of cast coming live with this production of Support Coach Television. Today's episode, Armadillo Song, the full text reading. This week's presentation will take us to the nation of Bolivia, where the legend is going to take place. Bolivia is located in South America. If you kind of equate it, it's about as far east as Maine, but south of the equator. It is bordered by Brazil on the east, Argentina on the south, Peru and Chile on the west, and Paraguay on the southeast. Each read has some different skills that you should be looking at. The first time you read this story, you should be looking at the orange box skills. That is paraphrasing and asking and answering questions. The second time through, you're going to be looking at second read skills, point of view and comparing and contrasting characters. And the third read, you're going to be focusing on the critical thinking question as we think about this legend. After each read, you should look at the Google Classroom for any further instructions. On the third read, Specifically, we will have the comprehension check. So take that extra moment to do the first and second read and really think about the questions because you won't have a written assignment. Armadillo's Song, a Bolivian legend. A long time ago, there lived an armadillo who loved music very much. Each time it rained, the armadillo would haul his heavy shell toward the pond. The many frogs at the pond would croak back and forth it to each other, and the armadillo would enjoy their beautiful singing. Oh, if only I could sing like that, wished the armadillo. He would sneak over to the edge of the pond and watch the frogs jumping and swimming, singing to each other all the while. He loved the music of their croaking, even though he could not understand their words. That was probably for the best, since the frogs were making fun of him. You are silly, sang the frogs. Everyone knows armadillos cannot sing. Then one day, a family of crickets moved near the armadillo. He was so amazed by their beautiful chirping sounds that he would sneak over to their house and listen to their music all night long. Oh, if only I could sing like that, wished the armadillo. You are silly, sang the crickets. Everyone knows armadillos cannot sing. One day, a man with a cage full of flapping, singing canaries walked down the road. The armadillo could not believe his ears. Their songs were the most beautiful he had ever heard. He followed the man as fast as his little legs could carry him. Oh, if only I could sing like that, wished the armadillo. You are silly, sang the canaries. Everyone knows armadillos cannot sing. After a while, the armadillo grew tired from walking. He found himself at the door of a great wizard's house. He decided to ask the wizard a favor. Shyly, he approached the great wizard, who was sitting on his front porch. Excuse me, wise wizard, but I hope you can help me. I would like to make beautiful music, and I hope you can make me sing like the frogs, crickets, and canaries. The wizard almost let out a laugh, for who had ever heard of a singing armadillo? Nevertheless, when he looked closely at the armadillo, he could see that the animal was serious. Hmm, I can make you sing, armadillo, but to do so, you will have to die. So that is not a good solution, said the wizard. If I die, I can sing, asked the shocked armadillo. I would gladly die to be able to sing like the frogs, crickets, and canaries. It is what I want more than anything. I want you to die right now, the armadillo said. Do not throw caution to the wind, replied the wizard. I do not want to, you to make a hasty decision. The wizard and the armadillo talked it over for a long time. The wizard did not feel right about taking the armadillo's life, but the armadillo finally convinced him 
with his passion for music and his insistence. The wizard killed the armadillo. He made an incredible instrument from the armadillo's shell and some strings, which when plucked, made the most beautiful sound. The wizard presented it to the best musician in town. Sometimes the musician would play the instrument near the pond where the frogs lived. They would look with wide eyes and croak. Look at that. The armadillo can make music. Sometimes the musician would play the instrument near the cricket's house. They would look with wide eyes and chirp. Look at that. The armadillo can make music. And sometimes the musician would play the instrument for his friend who owned the canaries. The tweeting canaries would just look on and say, look at that. The armadillo can make music. And that is how it happened. The armadillo could finally sing, just as he had always longed to do. The sounds of the instrument were the most beautiful in all the land. But like many of the great artists of the world, he made great sacrifices for the sake of his art. We have now reached the conclusion of this read. Please look back at your Google Classroom for any further instructions. I hope you all have a minute. Gijigad. Bama P.